Philippine National Police Chief Ronald De La Rosa tells the Supreme Court Tuesday his circular on the war on drugs does not contain orders to kill. The SC is hearing petitions which claim the PNP circular containing the words negate and neutralize have been taken by cops to mean kill drug suspects in their anti-drug operations. Associate Justice Marvick Leonet asks De La Rosa if he ever issued an order to kill during the war on drugs. De La Rosa says, quote, Neutralize your honor has a lot of meaning in police procedure. It means arrest, having the suspect surrender, or killing the suspect in very extreme situations, wherein as a result of a legitimate police operation, there is a gunfight. De La Rosa insists his circular is valid and that he will only change it if the SE tells him to do so. His testimony comes in the wake of a controversial report by Reuters showing footage that suggests Manila cops deliberately killed drug suspects last October 11, a day after President Rodrigo Duterte took the police out of his war on drugs. North Korea test fires an intercontinental ballistic missile Wednesday in a major challenge to United States President Donald Trump after he slapped fresh sanctions on Pyongyang and declared it a state sponsor of terrorism. It is North Korea's first ballistic test in more than two months. The missile flies about 1,000 kilometers before splashing down within Japan's maritime economic exclusion zone. Trump is guarded in his immediate response. He says, Good, I will only tell you that we will take care of it. It is a situation that you will handle. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe calls the test an intolerable, violent act, while South Korean President Moon Jae-in condemns Pyongyang's reckless behavior. The United Nations Security Council agrees to convene an emergency session to discuss the latest provocation. Meghan Markle will be baptized in the Church of England and will apply for British citizenship ahead of her marriage to Prince Harry in Windsor Castle next May. Prince Harry proposed to Markle while they were enjoying what they called a cozy night at home in his cottage in the grounds of Kensington Palace earlier this month. Prince Harry's spokesperson says Windsor Castle, Queen Elizabeth II's weekend residence near London, is a very special place for Harry. He adds Prince Harry and Markle spent time there together during their 16-month romance. Harry was baptized in the chapel, and it was where Prince Charles and Camilla were blessed following their civil wedding ceremony in 2005.